hey guys welcome to my channel so recently one of my friend wanted to learn javascript and he asked me to make this tutorial so i'm just making it for him and uh, the thing is like javascript is quite easy but many people believe it's uh, complicated uh, because it's so popular and there are so many ways to do one thing in javascript uh, this is why it's complicated so i got this index.html and i'm going to teach you javascript in just 15 minutes at least all the basics so uh, just stick with me so let me open emacs and this index.html which is nothing but just an empty html file and uh, open another you know like split and nc term csh yes python minus m http dot server so this is nothing but uh, like for example i'm just starting a server so you can ignore that let me open emit mode and create a boilerplate so h1 java of okay. javascript to js tutorial all right so this is nothing but just a boilerplate code and i just want to open this link now so i can see the page localhost 8000 so i like uh this you know you can just track the html file and it will also work but uh it doesn't really matter so we are getting some warnings uh, let's see if i can ignore it okay i can't there have to be some way which i don't know all right so I, i'm also getting one error which is um, because of we don't have a fabric icon which is nothing but what you see here so i assume you already know html and css now let's just you know figure out javascript so i have my dark mode on so by default uh, the background is uh, white and let's just try to clear these things okay so what you can do now is so if i have some div and let me give you an example and i'll try to teach everything about javascript with that example but in order to learn javascript there is uh, one concept which you have to understand which is not very complicated so suppose i have some image tag and let's just put some image so image like um, okay demon slayer nesuko image or okay so i should have all right this image looks better mm, all right copy paste it so this image as you can see the link is quite big so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just download this image first and then okay let's change the name e what is the name of this image four okay fours and then rename it to you know what don't rename just upload it on 0x0st server so i'm kind of misusing 0x0st but it's fine so now i we, i don't have to manage image all right so if i save this close this this and just you know reload so you can see the image now what we can do is we can put some style inside hack head so uh, for example this image let's give it an id of um image or no nezuko okay so nezuko is uh, the id nezuko and nezuko width have to be 200 pixel or 300 is better or we can do max width so max width is uh, better than just putting width and you don't really have to worry about these things right now all right so height will get auto adjusted i believe so yeah this is better let's do it 500 okay so we got something out there now you have to understand one thing uh, in order to learn about javascript which is if you open this so div is kind of like a parent and this is a child so we got some parents and we got some childs which means it's kind of like a tree so in trees we get parent and child so we call it dom tree okay so dom tree is nothing but just a tree which get created uh, once you render your html and this is really important because what javascript uh, you know as a beginner level what javascript mostly do is is nothing but just manipulating dom so what you can do is basically you can do anything with this dom so you can change it according to your wish okay uh, so this is the first thing which you can do so for example if i have this button height all right so this is the button and let's just give it another id so id is like um, okay show height so this is the id so now what we are going to do in this example let me you know just uh, okay so let's put a next line like br br next line and save it so the button will go next line so let me zoom in also just 300 is better like if i'm zooming in 
Okay, so we got this button height and we are just, just okay, one more thing, last thing. <clears throat> Body margin auto auto yeah and max width so this is nothing but just css which uh, we don't really care about it like it's it's nothing you can just ignore it so 700 bits okay nothing happened see i told you it's nothing what the fuck why nothing happened? okay whatever just remove it so now what we are going to do is when we press this button hide it's just going to hide this image and it's going to change to show so we can do this but in order to do anything in javascript first you have to create the tag of script tag okay so this is good because we can write our javascript uh, between this uh, script tag previously you have to type like things like uh, text type uh, javascript but now it's uh, there is no need of it okay so what we can do now is we can just get these elements in javascript as an object so this is quite interesting because we can do a lot of things with object now you might don't know what object is object is the animal which eat functions and variables okay so when they eat functions functions can get okay so we call those functions methods okay so when uh, so if there is some function inside an object then it's method and if there is some variable inside a object then we call it property okay property you can call it property all right so in javascript uh, you can even have functions inside an object so object can also have function inside but it's fine right now we are just um, just stick with it okay so now one more important thing if I try to grab this in JavaScript, how do I do this? So this is the first lesson, which is really important. So first we will create a variable, variable BTN. So let's call this thing BTN. Now we need this element in JavaScript. So what we can do is we can do document. So document is an object, okay, dot. So since it's an object, it will also have some kind of function inside it. So get element by ID, okay, so it's ID. And then we will give the ID. So ID of this button is show height. Okay. So show height. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just console.log, which is nothing but just print in the in this log. Okay. So BTN and that's it. Now you might think this works, you know, but this won't work. You know why? Let me just try to refresh it. And as you can see, it actually didn't work. We got nothing. Okay, we got null actually. Okay, if you notice, we got null, you can ignore these things. I don't know how to hide these things. Uh, if I try to remove like this warnings, okay, it's not working. So yeah, we got null. Now why we got null, it's quite easy. So this loading of this, uh, like uh, this entire HTML got, uh, start to get load from the top. So the issue what happened is this button is actually in the bottom of this line and this line got executed first and there were no button at the time. So what you can do is you can just cut this and just put this in the bottom of your HTML. All right, and I can remove these lines, okay? So yeah, now if I, rerun it as you can see we got this button element you know like this this little button we got it in our javascript okay and if i expand this you can see we got a lot of functions in it like a lot of stuff so i i told you what is object object is just an you know animal which can eat uh, properties and properties is just variable so you can see we got a lot of properties in here and i'll encourage you to just open print out any object in javascript and just to look up so you can see that we also got some list in it we also got like uh, things like hidden is it hidden it's false and uh, you know all kind of thing and there is one thing which you can do in javascript is you have like some properties like on click and you can attach some function to it okay so for example this on click let me attach create and attach some function so first we have to create some function function um hello world okay and then we will just console.log hello world and after that what we can do is so btn dot on click is equal to hello world all right so this is so simple 
I don't know why most people don't learn JavaScript like this. Like if you go to tutorials, people don't really print out and show everything. So if I just refresh now, okay, so we got nothing. Okay, we got nothing, which is quite correct because if I click on hide now, so you can see um, the number is getting increased. So instead of printing like uh, again and again, it just increased this number. So we can, as you can see, so we we actually what we did is we attached a function to one property of the object in JavaScript. So it was quite cool. Now what else we can do? We can do a lot of stuff. First of all, so first let's just put this before this function not the entire thing like this have to go be below and the reason i did this is because now i can use btn here inside this function because the btn is already defined all, all right so if so what we can do is btn dot inner html or text actually i'm not sure so there is this property let's just look into the property okay wait one second let me try to print okay i have to print uh one second all right, so console dot log btn. So always look up the properties. So, so what I'm going to do is I want to change the inner text. I don't know I can do this or I can see it from here. Uh, I can actually Google, but all right, let, leave it. Okay, let me just do it by myself. So, or let's just try to print, print it in our HTML or inner tag, whatever. And it's hide in you know, HTML is hide. Okay, it's correct. So our button had hide inside our HTML. So you can see it from here. If I open it, so button have hide in the inside the button. Okay, so this is good. All right, this is good. And we can change it. So here, let me change it. So btn dot inner HTML is equal to show show. That's it. So save it. So now when we click uh, this button, so the hello world function will get executed and this text will convert it into show, which is good. But what I want to do is if btn dot inner HTML is equal to show, then it will change it to height. Cool. Else it will change it to show. All right, this is good. So now what will happen? Okay, you can just guess what will happen. If I just, you see, like every time I'm clicking, it's just changing the text. Now this is good. Uh, instead of hello world, like hide show, hide show function, hide show. Okay. So now what I, I can do is uh, also one more thing. This document is uh, also nothing but the most parent uh, object. So if I do console.log, document document so and just refresh so you can see it's um, it's also an object which you can study and you can do a lot of stuff so on click is actually just like one event there are a lot of event in javascript for example on close on you know on hover on copy so for example if i change this like from here instead of on click where is this thing I, if I do on hover, okay, on hover and just refresh. So, okay. I don't know, like if on hover is a property or not, I just guessed, uh, let me just remove this console.log. I really wish this work, but it's not working. Maybe on hover is not, a okay. Is, oh, I got this something like this. Okay, let's just ignore it. Um, I'm not sure. So there are a lot of events in JavaScript. So on click is just like one event. So let me just Google like JavaScript on over event. So you can, you have to learn about all, okay, on mouse over. Okay, on mouse over is the thing. So on mouse over. All right, let's just refresh. So boom, this is good. Okay, it, it changing so quick, like I miss sometimes. Yeah, now it's working. Oh, all right, so basically there are a lot of events in JavaScript which you have to study in order to get good with JavaScript. And you also have to understand you can absolutely change anything. You can change the inner text of any element. You can, you know, like change the CSS of any element which we are going to do right now. So this image, so we got the idea of this image which is Nezuko. So if I do display height, 
all right and save it and refresh it so nothing happened weird 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 okay not display high it's like uh, none okay if i refresh it so as you can see we we don't have any image now so this is good but what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a class like hide and then i'm going to put uh, this line display none so now what will happen is if i save this okay i, I can't type guys i don't know why i'm deleting wrong lines okay so now what will happen is here if i give this class class is equal to uh i really can't type guys today i don't know why i'm making this video anyway like i'm a linux channel not a gs channel okay so okay this whole thing is still on what the fuck i have to change it to click okay on click on click okay I, i'm not really in love with, with javascript but you know let's just get over with this tutorial for my friend all right so as you can see so we have this class which is hide and since the css of this hide is display none we are not able to see the image but what i can do is so by default this is hide let's just do it show okay show and this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to what i'm going to do okay I, even i don't know what i'm going to do so first let's just create a object of this element so this is nothing but emg or nezuko you can do any anything here and the id of nezuko is nezuko and you can even get by class you can do this but when you get by class you will get a list because you know one element can have multiple classes okay so here we got this nez and in this function high show what we can do is we can type nez dot toggle class so there is this function toggle class and we can toggle this class height so it means that if nez have height class then it will remove it and if it doesn't have height class then it will add it now i'm not sure about this toggle class function i'm just hoping it work so let's just click on show and as you can see there is no toggle class function so how to toggle class in javascript so the best website to learn about javascript is mdn docs but if you just want to know something which and you already know what that thing is so you you can just you know quickly go through any website and see so as you can see so here it's not toggle class so first we have class list and class list is also an object and inside this we got this function toggle right so i'll encourage you to console log everything like for example what is class list and then see what other classes this thing have so now if i click show height as you can see it's working as expected okay so now what you can do is you can learn more about how to manipulate this dom and you can just put this inside another file you can okay there are more fancy things you can do like javascript have functions like fetch which can actually fetch the data from the other like rest api but i won't recommend you doing that because that requires some kind of async functionality knowledge but as pure javascript coder you should just practice about more events because the thing is the click doesn't only work on functions so you can even have like image so so instead of btn you can have like nest.onclick all right so now if i click on this thing okay it's not okay i have to refresh first okay i don't have any image right now so let's just remove this class for now save it so now if i click on image it's gone so it the thing is like uh, you can even have like on click on a heading so there is no rules okay it is just treating every element like an element okay so what you can do is you can learn more by practicing about more and more event functions like event handlers there are a lot of it so let me show you the some cool stuff which you can do with javascript so there is this website pointer pointer.com which i really like so what will happen is if you put some cursors anywhere uh, okay so it's going to show you an image with the person pointing his finger to that particular point so you might wonder how this is happening well it's quite simple you're thing so you can get the xy from javascript basically javascript will allow you to do a lot of stuff but the basic idea is just this uh you got it like you can basically use javascript write some functions it has a lot of images i don't know why it repeated one 
so you can write function and one last thing i want to tell you don't get so javascript have like a lot of cool ways to write code so uh, most people get confused with it so for example javascript uh, normal function versus arrow function so you can write functions like this okay so so this is okay it's a really bad example i want to show you oh, all right this is the good so you can have a function like this or you can have a function like this but these two are the same thing so don't get confused uh, with syntax like this which javascript have uh, you will also learn some more advanced stuff like map in future if you follow any kind of tutorial of javascript but always try to stick with these basics like try to manipulate dom as much as you can by just using javascript try to change css try to add classes try to get element by classes that's it that's the video i believe like you get the idea of javascript you got a lot of objects you got uh, like everything every element can get converted into object you can manipulate it by using all sorts like all these kind of like function it's basically a language you can run loops over it and um, just console log everything and just look into the object like what kind of functionality you can have so that's it for my side okay that's a weird video i don't know why i did that but fine Thanks for watching.